This is the top, top one that gets everyone. Top of the list is Rampage because um Rampage Brown because yeah, a mentor. I mean, he was taught me so much. So anytime I got to wrestle him, it was always kind of and again that little brother. Right, let's yeah. go there. <laughs> 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 I've always had that with him. So and you know, he always gets good good matches. Like not just good, like he's great. Like he legitimately you ask anybody within our industry who's worked with him, particularly obviously in the UK, and I think pretty much everyone will tell you he's probably one of the best wrestlers in the world, not just in Europe, but he's phenomenal. It is to me the biggest crime that he has never been like a, a major champion in, I, in, a, in one I, of the major companies. I, I and, so and, hardly agree with you on that one. But that's the that thing, 100%. like, this is another reason why I argue it so much is because so many people think the same thing. Yeah. Like, so, so many people see it in him. Like, he's just... He's phenomenal. also just... Uh, and in... Uh, as Rampage Brown, he's a scary and big dude. I am yeah, not going to lie. I shook his hand and his whole entire hand... Pretty much engulfed mine. I think he could just <laughs> crushed my head. He he is he is. But I again, he was the he was the gentle giant as well. When I met him, yeah, just I, so I've had nice. so many of my favorite matches with him. Like the second time I won the NGW Championship, sold out in the whole city hall, which is the venue that I used to go watch wrestling and at All Star Wrestling as a kid. And I was wrestling against Rampage in the main event, and I was booked heavy as the baby face at the time, and just. We had a great match because he's so good, and it, I, I was very confident by myself at that time. We had another what his progress debut, like yes. that came about literally after I lost the title. Like John said, "Who do you want to wrestle at the next show?" And like, and he just come back over, and I was like, "Right, there's this guy Rampage." Like, you, you might not have heard of him because he was kind of hidden for years, just on All Star. But I was like, once you see him, you'll you'll make him champion. And then, sure enough, two shows later, two or three shows later, they made him champ. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. yeah, he's that good. He's that um, good. So, yeah, his debut match at Progress, that's one of my favorites. Like, it, we just, I mean, we leathered each other. We really got stuck in. Um, so, well, anyway, I'm listing my favorite match. So, Rampage, and I should be listing my greatest opponents. <laughs> <sighs> Dean Allmark's another one that comes to mind there. Like, I, anytime I wrestle oh. Dean, it's just so fun. Yes. Like, he, he brings out the best in me, I think. Like, his, his Rampage is, is great and helps me step up. Like, Dean's so, so... I can't describe it. There's a chemistry there that I have with him that's just... I, I It's a delight. Anytime I see that I'm, I'm getting to wrestle Dean, anywhere, anywhere any type of show, um, we always seem to just hit... I think there's only been, like, one or two times where we can count on, like, the 50 matches we've had against each other that no, it didn't click which was one of them was the very first time which there you go and then another one was one i think we did at wrestlegate and we just some one thing went and it, it messed something else up and it, for whatever reason oh, like it, it was it, like the match was still there like we still yeah. had the rest of it and nobody like we were asking like other than the the initial little thing that went wrong like they said we couldn't tell anything but we just knew and i guess we we're just so perfectionists and that and like yeah yeah, like it's just, and and again, we recovered it fine. We worked through it because mm. we've we've done matches where, we, again, I love going in there with Dean and just going. Should we just make it up tonight? Like, God, <laughs> just, like wing it. Like I love those. I love working with him for that reason. Again, like he's someone else that can just. He knows my stuff so well. I know his stuff so well. It's so easy for us to just not talk until we, mm-hmm. you know, but we'll just listen to the audience. Um, yeah. So Dean's Dean's definitely up there for me. Cash should be another. Like he, I got again just because. I mean, a look at the look at the talent he is. Right, he hasn't obviously. He's gotten even better in the last ten years since I last wrestled him. But even when I was wrestling ten years ago, you knew, like you, you just knew. It was like he's got whatever it can't be that can't be taught. Like that X factor, he has it. Like and he just had it in abundance and we again just had great chemistry together it was one of the like the first time we'd wrestled and it was like that felt like we've wrestled each other like a hundred times and i hope we get to wrestle each other a hundred yeah. times like we both just felt it and uh and again he was good at like just kind of giving me little bits and to this day he still critiques my match like if i ask him to watch a match and he's got time 
between his schedule, bless him when he's so busy. Like he, he will sit down and watch matches. But yeah, so he'd be number he'd be number three on there. Um, four. Like I'm trying to think of someone like not personal, like ones that I really feel like I came away from that a better wrestler. Like Jeff Jarrett? That might be one. Whoa! Jarrett was like one of those like it was a rough day. <laughs> it's so like I was saying about making sacrifices for wrestling. The morning was my grandma's funeral. And then the evening, mm. I went and wrestled Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was like a thousand people. It was crazy. It was a roller coaster of a day. But he was, again, like I've always, I loved like, that type of Memphis style wrestling. And, yes. um, uh, uh, and he, as soon as I got to the venue and I said, hey, like, uh, I'm gonna get settled in. I'll, we'll come up and chat in a bit. And he was like, "Yeah, well, we will have to talk about much." Like, and I was like, instantly, I was like, "Okay, already, I like this because that's the type of wrestler I like to do as well. Like, call minimum, just feel out there." And uh, yeah, he was very complimentary after the match as well, which obviously that day it was nice to hear. He didn't know about that either. Like, I made a point of not telling. Um, like, I didn't want anyone to. I think Rampage knew. Like he was the only person in the building that knew that day, like that I'd been to my grandma's funeral in the morning. But yeah, he Jarrett was was class. Like he just and he was so giving as well. Like I remember me like calling something in there that I'd kind of come up with, like just as you do. And he was like going with it and he was getting it's like, yeah, and then I'd call like the next thing and and then we got into the back and like so he was very complimentary about that. But um yeah, and then again, if you was to look at his list of accomplishments, I guess that also put him on that list along with with Cash, not just because of, of what they've achieved, though, but because of how much I took away from those matches. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, to be honest, all four of them, like say Rampage was my mentor, all-star, always, he always has taught me stuff. Um, Dean, like again, somebody that I, I love wrestling and love learning from as well, because he's so good at, the, at particularly the British t- technique and uh, it's phenomenal all that stuff, hold for hold wrestling. Someone I learned so much from there. Yeah, all four of them. Great teachers, great wrestlers, great people. I'm just keeping the real, homie. I'm just keeping the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just keeping the real, homie. I'm just keeping the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just keeping the real, homie. I'm just keeping the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been us keeping it real on the Real Wrestling Podcast.